Okay, so today I'm talking about the iPad mini 4 and why I still use it in 2020 and why I think that you should too, if you're anything like me. Okay, so first of all, I, I, I just kind of have to mention the fact that, you know, when Apple is updating its, uh, you know, OS, it does put older models of iPads and iPhones, they start to feel weaker, you know? And it's not just the fact that, you know, iPhones and iPads have become a lot faster. The iPad mini 4 was very fast, like last year on iOS 12 and iOS 11. And it's been increasingly starting to feel a bit slower. So I have considered getting the iPad mini 5, but for now it's working pretty swell. And I still use it till this day. I did have a couple of doubts last year and I was about to sell it or give it to a friend, but I changed my mind and I'm pretty happy that I didn't get rid of it. I'm still using it today and I want to tell you and share with you exactly why. So I still use the iPhone 8 Plus, which I think is a really cool smartphone. I really enjoy using it. And it is a lot faster than the iPad mini 4. I can actually tell the difference. There is a lot of difference, um, but I do prefer having both of these devices, even though I've mentioned it in the past that I will probably get rid of the iPad mini 4 because the size difference between these two is not that big. Still, I kept it and I'm pretty happy about it. And I wanted to explain to you why. It's all about the fact of, that I really don't like the idea that I use my smartphone for everything. And it feels like I've become more and more addicted to my smartphone. And I've started to, I've tried to reduce the time that I use my smartphone. And that's why I use an iPad mini four. And so a lot of apps that I, I had basically removed from my smartphone, all social media apps, I basically removed from my smartphone and I have them on my iPad. And I know what you're thinking, some of you, oh, but Vinny, but then you haven't actually started to use less of them. You have, you, the, the less you use your smartphone, the more you use your iPad. True, but not exactly. See, here's the thing. It's all about habits and building habits. And when you have the habit of, you know, taking out your smartphone all the time, checking status, checking Instagram, checking Facebook, and you're doing it over and over again, like 20, 30, 40 times per day, you develop this habit and you end up using your smartphone a lot. By keeping your smartphone basically free from a lot of distractions, you basically only use it when you need to use it. Like when you have to search for something or you have to pay for something, or you have to check important news or you have to communicate, you use it more intentionally when you don't have a lot of distractions. Now, when I'm at home, I actually don't use my iPad mini 4. I only use it on the weekends. Yeah, that's the thing. I only use it like two, uh, twice per, uh, two days per week. It's Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes I flip it out on Fridays. I go like, what the hell, it's Friday. Let's have a party. Let's flip out the old iPad, shall we? Let's have some fun. And that's what I do. And then I browse through, you know, Instagram and social media stuff and, uh, it hasn't felt very addictive for me because it's sort of like, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's the same thing as using drugs, but if you use drugs every day, you get, you know, very addicted. When you use it like once a week, you get less addicted. I'm not saying you should do it like that. I'm saying you should stay away from drugs altogether, but social media is very addictive. We all know that. And when I don't have that habit of checking social media every day, but only check it on, you know, Saturdays and Sundays, I don't get addicted to it. You know, I can take it out, check once, maybe twice per day, but it's not this constant checking, checking, checking. And so it feels like I can use Instagram and other social media platforms more effectively as tools to communicate with people instead of just checking for updates, you know? So that is the reason why I use my iPad mini 4. It's mainly that. And also I use it because I do like the screen. It's a laminated screen and I use it to edit thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Most of the thumbnails that you see have been made on the iPad mini 4. I'd say like 
99.9% .9 of all thumbnails on this channel this last year or so have been done on my iPad mini 4 because I don't have too many editing apps uh, on my smartphone. So that's why. So I think this is a cool solution. It works for me and uh, it's a bit slow. I have to admit that if you don't have a hurry, it's not a big deal. But sometimes I kind of miss the speed of my smartphone. So I have been sort of considering getting the iPad mini 5. We'll see how it goes. But I think I will at least use my iPad mini 4 for at least all of 2020. Because again, I think it's very affordable. It's not super slow. It's not like my iPad 3. That was a slouch like no other. But the iPad mini 4 is pretty fast. It's not snail slow it's just slow i guess that's the way, best way to put it okay that's all i had for today hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you know what to do take care